Okay, so we've got negative 5x plus 4y equals 20. We've got to get the x and y intercept um, and then graph the line. So um, what I want you all to do is just do a little table um, like this, x, y, oops. Um, and we're going to remember is like we're looking for a line that um, goes through our grid here, right? And whatever line you draw, it's going to go through the x-axis and the y-axis. Now, when it goes through the x-axis, that's called an x-intercept. When it goes through the y-axis, that's called a y-intercept. So let's start with the x-axis, when it go, the x-intercept. When it goes through the x-axis, the y-value is going to be zero, right? When it goes through the y-axis hits the y-axis, the x value is going to be zero, right? So we're going to do a little table. We're going to plug zero in for x and zero in for y. And then in each, each term, we're going to calculate what, figure out what that point should be, right? So let's start with this one. For example, when y is zero, what should the point be? In other words, what should our x value be? So now just plug in zero in for y in the equation. Negative 5x plus 4 times 0 equals 20. So y is 0, right? Yes. All right. So I want everyone watching from home to uh, please press pause on the video and get this yourself and then check your answer. All right. So... So we get uh, negative 5x plus 4 times 0 is 0 equals 20, or just negative 5x equals 20. And now we need to solve for x. x is being times by five, negative 5, so divide both sides by negative 5, and we get x equals positive over negative negative 4. Okay with that? Yes, that's what I got. Negative y is 0, the x is negative 4. And I'm going to put that on the graph right away. Because x is negative 4, y is 0. x is negative 4 here, y is 0, right? So that's our one of our points. And that is on the x-axis, so it's called the x-intercept. Right? Yes. Um, the other one, when y, or sorry, this is when x is 0, we have to figure out the y. So negative 5 times 0 plus 4y equals 20. So when, when, um, when x is 0, we get, oh, Everyone press pause on the video, try this yourself, and then check the video and check your answer. Oh, awesome. So we get 0 plus 4y equals 20. So 4y equals 20. That's 4 times y is 20. So divide both sides by 4, and y equals 5. So when x is 0, y is 5. So Please plot this on the grid, right? So yes. x is 0, y is up here, 5. So that's 0, 5, and that's on the y-axis, so it's called the y-intercept. And then we take a ruler and draw a line through the points. And that's our line right there. And so we found out, we plotted that line by just getting the x and y intercept and drawing a line through them, right? So that's that technique. But because I'm a math teacher, I can't help just running over uh, the previous method, which is to solve for y and make a little table and then do it, right? So I'm just going to run over that really quick to show you all that it is the same thing. Um, it just looks a little different. So, you know... We got your negative 5x plus 4y equals 20. Um, 
Uh, you could add 5x to both sides, and that gives 4y equals 5x plus 20, and then divide everything by 4 to get y equals 5 fourths times x, or 5 quarters times x plus 5. And then you could have done a little table and plug in some points like 0, and you end up 5, 4 times 0 is 0, plus 5 is 5, and here's 0, 5, you get that point, and then you might plug in like, I don't know, 4, and then 5 quarters times 4 becomes 5, 5 plus 5 is 10, and so you get the point 4, 10, which is up here, you know, and you could also draw the line that way. So we can solve for y, and we can get the, it in y equals mx plus b form and, 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 and figure it that way. But this is doing the getting the intercepts and graphing it that way, right?